Okay, I don't know if I want to say it, but I'm going to say it. Fall is just around the corner and the weather is changing. So, hey, why not time to change our hairstyles too? Well, our next guest is back to get our hair fresh for fall with some throwback trends that we can do at home. Please welcome hairstylist Janet Jackson. Hi. 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 Great to see you. Great seeing you guys too. All right, we just did it with fashion, but when it comes to hair, what are the throwback looks that are making a comeback? Well, because all these throwbacks are coming, you know, we're seeing it a lot. This hair season, we're seeing a lot of throwbacks and we are seeing a lot of arrows that just keep coming back and it's making a huge comeback. And because of that, they've become super popular. We're seeing them on runways and on our favorite celebrities. And so what I'm going to do today is show you three looks from three different decades, the 70s, 80s, and 90s, that you can definitely rock today. Okay, lots. Okay, let's get started. We're gonna start with the 70s. Yes. And at that time, the hair looks that people were really looking at and getting really excited about were Dolly Parton, yes. Farrah Fawcett, <laughs> and <laughs> Diana Ross, because it, you know the vibe was voluminous. It was sweeping blowouts. It was, that was really what was synonymous with the 70s, right? Yes. So today the trend is sliding back Absolutely. So we can see celebrities like Billie Eilish and Lucy Hale, who've kind of gone back to the 70s, but modernized it a little bit for now. So um, how do we get this for okay. 2022? For this look, you're, the key things here are large sections, so when you're going to style it or when you're going to curl it, take larger sections. You're gonna use a large barrel iron or roller and make sure that you roll it right down to the scalp just like that. And then with that, you are definitely going to use your fingers or a large tooth comb as I have here, something this big, and you're gonna comb through that look. And that's what keeps that volume there, that fluff, that free flowing hairstyle. What if we don't have, like, how do we recreate if we don't have, like, a curler or that kind of, those tools? Because um, I remember, like, back in the day, women used to, like, tease, right? There's a lot of back combing to get yes. that volume. Yes. So for, to modernize this look, we want to stay away from the teasing. We do okay. want it to have a lot of movement. But using stuff like this, which is a large bendy rod, this is great for creating a look. Again, large sections. Okay. Or even going back <gasps> to our roller. I You can. I just purchased Mine this. Mine were so. pink. Were you happy? Yes. <laughs> Why? Why is that? So we're going to keep it modern, black. <laughs> <laughs> but you can definitely use those tools to maintain the look as well. So you can sleep with those to maintain that beautiful, voluminous look. It's so easy. Okay. I, I have now to we're play with it. I know. Now I do. I go. <laughs> All right. So we're going to move on to the next decade. And you said that was the 80s. So let's the move 80s. on The 80s. Uh, and you say that the big thing here was scrunchies. And Ooh. we all remember this, right? It was Sarah Jessica Parker. Yes. To Madonna. And guess what? Scrunchies, scrunchies are, are coming back. back. Um, okay. So we see now um, also uh, a big... I mean, listen, this is the modern. This is the modern version. Okay. So, so much here. So let's talk about the modern way to do the scrunchie with Candace, and how do we make it more contemporary? Okay, so the key to this look, obviously you can do work this look with any texture, which is great. She has curly hair. I'm gonna leave some face framing pieces to make oh, it a little bit more well, modern. It's already done, yeah. Great. Yeah. Exactly. I can see it coming together. And then instead of using one scrunchie, how about we use two or three oh. and make it way cooler. With more support, because with two or three more you get support. more support, right? Exactly. How do you I'm keep just the do looks, that. How do you keep the curls fresh? This looks amazing. You've secured it. Yes. But sometimes with the curls, they can, you know, start looking a, a little bit messy or, or worn. You're absolutely right. And so second day hair yeah. is great for this look, first so of good. all. We're in love with this, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it took me like two seconds. Two seconds. And yeah. also, if you want to revive, like you want to refresh your curls, you can go in with a lightweight uh leave-in spray uh, or your favorite curl product and just tackle the curls that look a kind, kind of weird and go in with your fingers and twirl or scrunch if you need to mm. and let it air dry. And that's basically how you would revive any kind of texture. That was okay. quick. That took two seconds. It really one did. Let's travel. Let's go to the 90s. <laughs> one more decade. And we're doing the sleek look with the middle part, right? Yes. This, is, uh, this was iconic. Sama Hayek did it back in the day, Michael Michelle, Christina Ricci, and now it's coming back because pop star Dua Lipa 
is rocking the same look mm -hmm. and was actually spotted during uh, New York Fashion Week uh, uh, for and uh, for with the style. So we have Chintia here. Um, how do we recreate it for 2022? Okay, so we do this look and achieve this look with this beautiful tool right here, which is the Amika Two in One Blow Dryer and Straightener. Okay, no. oh, stop it. Yes. So you. So we're going to turn so it two on. Two things at once. Two things Dries at and once. Straightens. And we're going to turn it on and it heats and blows at the same time. And what's really great about this is you're just going to stroke the hair just like that. You can use it on damp hair as can well. I touch? Do you mind sure. Me? I want to see. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's smooth. It is. Yeah. And this is how you can easily recreate this look with this easy tool. It's beautiful. Wow. I, I mean, this is like very Rachel vibes. Yeah. Rachel vibes, 1990s. We're yes. all taking it back to the other deck. Thank you so much, Jan. This is my fun. Now, our audience can try the 90s sleek look right at home because guess what? All of you are going home with the Amica Double Agent 2 oh, in one yeah. There. Wasn't that great? Do you know where you can find some equally good content? Our YouTube page. It's filled with discussions, debates, and some laughs. Head there now. Like and subscribe.